This is the tension control rod off the 521 frame. Okay, same one that got the, the ball joint mod. Uh, the guy that I sent the first one to, his rods are bad. So he wants me to make him a couple of custom ones. Well, if we're going to make custom ones, then, you know, new ones, we might as well make adjustable ones. This is all the adjustment the factory ones had. See the threads there on the back side? So you can adjust it forward and back, not really enough to make a huge difference. Here's the thing, the next, next project I'm supposed to be working on is the brake calipers and the rotor adapters for this same guy. Well, he needs these first, so I can't feel too bad about pushing those parts back to do these. These shouldn't take too long. In fact, actually, once I do some design work, stuff like that, order up a couple of parts, then I can start working on the brakes and stuff like that until the rest of this comes in. So I'm just doing a little hand sketch here to get some uh, rough dimensions. So the distance between these two is 19 and 3 quarters. Each one of these is 2 inches, 2 and an eighth. We can make them two and a quarter. Uh, next, we need to know diameters. And this is just, uh, this is 0.59. I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to make it 0.625. I'm going to make it 5 eighths. Uh, reason I'm going to do that is because I know I have the left and right taps and dies for 5 eighths. Okay. I plan on ordering pre made center tubes that have 5 eighths thread. Okay, so that's another reason why I'm going to order the bar at 5 eighths because then I just have to simply thread the, uh, I just have to make two new end pieces basically. Okay, and they can both be the same. They won't need an adjuster nut or anything. And I can put the 5 eighths inch thread on them. So that ought to cut down a lot of the work, help keep the uh, price down. And those tubes are actually, depending on exactly how long I get, I could put a 7 inch one right in the middle. The 7 inch one's under 20 bucks. And it is a 3 8 24. I can take this 19 and 3 quarters. 7 inches, 7 inches, ah, 7 inches looks kind of eh. So if the thread started there, the end of the tube was there, and that's just an eyeball guesstimate, but that puts it roughly at 14 inches. So I can adjust that and I can look at the cost. So let's say the 14, the 15 inch one is, you know, way, way more money because it's just not is commonly used um, than a 13 or a 12 inch well hey then I can just do a 13 or a 12 inch but it looks to me like 15 is going to be about as long as I'm going to want to go so I'm going to say like a 12 to 15 inch tube and we'll see what I can find these are both just right hand threads uh, I don't have to worry about having a reverse one there so um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably go ahead and order a couple of brand new 3 8 dies just to make sure that I have what I need. Uh, and good chance this would this may be a fairly popular item. The challenge is, is when you're working with these frames, they have a big bushing that goes in here. Well, that bushing's not really designed to flex forward and aft a whole lot. You can put some adjustment to it. It can help with the alignment, but you really can't pull it too far. I'm just cleaning up the ends and putting the center using the center drill there because uh, I'm going to need to use the live center uh question is whether to cut the small end first because because if I screw that up I got to do another one since I'm going to support it I can bring it out a good bit further and not have to be up so close against this okay and from here it's going to be two and a quarter in Point 
six, one, three. I need to take it down to 375. Okay, yeah, and I have an extension out here because I'm going to be holding it. Because uh, I tried letting it run against the lathe while well, it drags, and what that did was it caused this to turn, which threw the threads off, and then the threads wouldn't, uh, <laughs> weren't any good. I'm going to use the drill chuck, as I've seen some other people do. It's got this nice taper around it, and that uh, works really well at, at pushing it on there to get that... Uh, started. And I haven't, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this is 11, uh, 1144 stress proof. So uh, those threads cut so much nicer than they did on the 1018. Okay, I'm going to make sure it doesn't uh, jerk out of my hand. I think I'm going to trust that that one's working good. This side's a whole lot easier and a whole lot shorter. I could have put that on first, but I thought, you know, no point in doing that. I'm not worried about that one getting screwed up, basically. This is the one that uh, I'm worried about. Now we're going to do the other side. And this one has guides on it if you want to trust them. I have them set down, you know, and it's to, it's to help keep it from wandering too much, but... See, get the mistakes off to the side there. Okay, this is what I'm trying to duplicate. nicer than spinning it down and that's pretty close yeah they look pretty nice except it just dawned on me that the other two I made for this set trying to uh, for the other end here I should have done with the with the left hand thread so I have two for the other one 
I don't have any more with the three ace cut, so basically I've got to cut the three ace and three. Uh, son of a. These are the bushings, isolators, dampeners for the ends there. Okay, and as you can see, you know these these are pretty well squished and beat up, but you can see they're quite a bit different. They're a good bit thicker. I don't know. You can't get factory ones anymore, so I don't know. At least I couldn't find them. Anyway, you don't know exactly the length. Now, the nice thing is, is, since the arm is adjustable, the rod is adjustable, if these things are squished down to the proper amount and still end up making the rod effectively longer, it can be adjusted here. If I tried to put these on the stock rod, I would literally have to squish them down to at least to, to what the factory uh, length was. There is a little bit of extra thread. I made these about an eighth of an inch longer. Okay, so I am ready to ship these tomorrow. You love to hear the sound of that ting, that bang, because it means if it goes thump, it was your toe. So, no thump. Ah. I'm really happy that was a ting.